Hello there, this is Adeola Ogedengbe here. You are welcome to the Warrior Woman of God's YouTube channel. This is our Practical Kingdom Living series. And today, I want to assure you that the Word of God works. I believe ignorance of the Word of God is one of the greatest weapons that Satan uses against us. Three times he tempted Jesus, quoting what the Word of God says. Those three times he failed because Jesus had some knowledge of the Word of God and knows the context and accurate perception of the heart's desire of God beyond the scriptural text. Our lack of knowledge of the Word of God make us vulnerable to Satan's tricks and subsequently his attack. Having a small knowledge of the scripture instead of the whole counsel of God is not good enough. Sometimes things get worse when we pray. It appears as if the more you pray, the worse the situation becomes. In situations like this, what I do is ask God what he wants to teach me at the end of it all. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17, Paul said, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Don't quote scripture out of context. We get into trouble when we wrench a scripture out of its original context or twist it to get what we want or back up our foolishness. For example, I was watching a talk show on one of the Nigerians' channel and the talk show was about prostitution and why some ladies go into it. I was shocked when a prostitute who claims to be a Christian said that the Bible permits her to do prostitution as a business. When she was asked how and why, she responded by quoting the scripture, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 16, a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. This is an extreme example of a twist of scripture which is very shameful but it happens in even normal and ordinary scenarios for selfish purposes and desires. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13, Paul commended the Thessalonians that when you received the word of God from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which also effectively works in you who believe. The other is, God's word must first work in you before it works for you. To avoid ignorance, there is a need to seek God's understanding of issues relating to our families, either from his written word or spoken word of prophecy. This helps us to governmentally declare that which is God's will for our families and every area of our lives. By seeking God's understanding, we declare to the enemy that it is what God has planned that must come to pass. Anything contrary to that is not acceptable and must be rebuked in Jesus' name and victory is sure. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Psalm 119 verse 104 says, Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Then seek knowledge in all things that pertain to your family. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 14 says, The heart of him who has understanding seeks knowledge. When you have the wisdom of God, the understanding of who God is, and the knowledge of his word, you will be able to draw wisdom, understanding, and knowledge that you need to maintain your family and stand in prayer for your family. Avoid religious or soulish prayer. But we are to prayerfully discern the desires of God for our families. We are to declare that it is what we have discerned according to the word of God and by revelation of his will for our families that shall be. Anything contrary to that is false and not permitted. 
we may not see the tangible results of our prayers immediately, although sometimes we do. But when we don't, we are to press on, keep up the momentum until we sense the victory. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2 says, Pray diligently, stay alert, with your eyes wide open in gratitude. Thank you.